Hey Capricorn, it's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for you guys for this week in May. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Capricorns out there. Check your birth chart if this reading does not resonate for you. Go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings. My information is in the description box below for you down there, along with everything else you need to know about this reading. Alright, so Capricorn. What is the energy around Capricorn right now? What is going on around Capricorn for this week in May? What's going on around Capricorn right now? What's going on around Capricorn? I just heard Aquarius. You guys can be dealing with Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you Capricorns have Aquarius in your chart a lot. I don't know why I just heard that, but there's some air in your guys' chart. What else for Capricorn? Okay. Okay, so we have happy family here. All right, nice. You could have a family with someone. All right, storm warning. Okay. What else for Capricorn for this week in May? All right, this is what I'm getting so far for you guys. I'm getting that um, maybe you were involved in a situation where this person had a family or a commitment or they had something going on here. With storm warning here, you try to avoid it here. I feel like you were warned about it. Maybe you were still dealing with this person, Capricorn, but I feel like altogether this person maybe um, they tried to confuse you or you were just confused. This person had many options. Okay, then we have victory here. Okay, so you avoided the situation and you got your own victory out of this. That's nice. We have all tied up here. So I feel like you left someone here. Someone is very codependent on your energy here. We're going to figure out what this is. For you, Capricorn. I feel like this person already has a family, though. It's either they already have a family or scratch that and you are the person who they have a family with. You just know that they mean no good or, you know, they mean trouble or they come with trouble. You're overcoming this. Um, I feel like this person maybe had you in some sort of confusion and you're just um, gaining a lot of victory over the situation because I feel like it was confusing. Clarify happy family for Capricorn. Happy family for Capricorn. All right. So I have epiphany, breakthrough, with freedom, leap, opportunities here. All right. So I feel like this person here maybe snapped out of something here. And they're realizing that you are that person that they, they can have a happy family with here. And they want to take a risk with you here. Transcendence and unity is here. So I feel like um, you have a lot of opportunities and you finally became free from something is also what I'm hearing. Clarify storm warning for Capricorn. Storm warning. Alright. So we have unexpected. Yeah, I was getting that. Yeah, also another storm. Okay, so someone is going through something here. Yeah, transcendence and unity. Someone is going through something and it's causing them to be deep in their head about it. I feel like they didn't expect for you to overcome something. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, I feel like someone is getting a lot of clarity about some sort of situation here, uh, Capricorn. And they're just like, oh. And they feel like you're isolating yourself or drawing away from them. Or they did something that wasn't healthy. And it caused you to um, have an epiphany. And you're just like realizing, well, I'll just be balanced by myself, right? And you isolated yourself, all right? Clarify adjacent possibilities for Capricorn. Adjacent possibilities for Capricorn. Adjacent possibilities. All right, so we have Ace of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. This is you here. Having uh, courage to change a situation here. Um, yeah, you, you're doing something a lot different. And I feel like you either have a lot of either choices in lovers or choices in jobs or choices in where you want to move to. Tell me more about the Ace of Earth. But you're getting a blessing. You're getting different blessings. Clarify the Ace of Earth for Capricorn. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah, fulfillment. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. Oh, a lot of you could be coming into like... A lot of you could be either... How do I want to say it? Because when it comes to commitment, it could be like one or two things. Either you're going to be married pretty soon, Capricorn, or you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be in a relationship that's going to be fulfilling to you. And it's not going to... I feel like it's going to be better than the past is what I'm getting here. 
someone who wishes to have a family with you. It would be their wish. Clarify victory for Capricorn. Victory for Capricorn. Red victory here. Thank you. All right, so we have winter and rebirth. So it's like you went through like this death of your own of your own experience here. Yeah, there's that commitment again. Um Clarify rebirth for Capricorn. Rebirth for Capricorn. Rebirth for Capricorn. All right, so someone is separated from you. Yeah. Truth expression. Okay, so does someone here fears expressing the truth? Because they feel like you changed. You overcame something. So I feel like they want to tell you something. I feel like someone is all tied up. I'm also getting something about money. Someone may, may need some help from you here, uh, Capricorn, but they're afraid to reach out. Maybe because of something that happened in the past or because of how much you changed. Like they're really stuck on the past and they're wondering if you would be the same person as um, the person in the past, someone that they were really happy with. I feel like something happened here and um, they expected you to be cool with it and you weren't cool with it so you left you changed all right so tell me more about this person tell me about capricorn's person tell me more about capricorn's person tell me about capricorn's person right now tell me about capricorn's person about Capricorn's person. Alright, split in the deck. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is Capricorn's person doing right now? We have the Five of Swords here with the Sun card. You could be dealing with a Leo. We also have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Hierophant. Then we also have the lovers here at the bottom, Gemini energy. All right, so I'm getting that this person here is coming off pretty jealous. I feel like you guys are in a commitment. You guys could be in something right now. And someone could be either jealous of your person or jealous of you. Take it how it resonates. I feel like as soon as you got this like childhood energy about yourself, like you like got a new enlightened, um, illuminating, happy, um, energy about yourself you started ending things right and I feel like someone wants you to conform to them or someone wants you to um, someone kind of wants you to control them or someone's trying to once uh, someone is trying to control you is what I'm getting but I'm getting that you're getting an emperor in your life that wants to commit to you so it could be two different energies that I'm picking up off of but I do see the lovers here so I'm getting yeah okay the lovers underneath that is the four of cups. So someone sees this as a missed opportunity because they feel like you're, you're with someone else or you choose someone else. Okay. Clarify the five of swords, please. For Capricorn's person. Why is the five of swords here for Capricorn? Six of cups, the ten of cups, and the sun again. Okay, yeah. So I feel like you make this person happy and they're just like... How dare they go off and run off and be with someone else? I remember in the past, this person used to make me happy. I feel like heavy Leo energy here is what you're dealing with because the sun card is here. I feel like you're very protected. I feel like you, you're you just surrounded with happiness right now. And this person is having nostalgia. There's that lovers again. Wow. So you guys are like really in this energy of like being happy. And you guys could be like in a soulmate connection. Clarify the sun, please. Um, clarify the sun, please, for Capricorn. Why is the sun here for Capricorn? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You put a lot of self-work uh, into yourself here. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups here. It's like the same energy keeps repeating itself. You guys are definitely headed into a commitment or a partnership. I just feel like someone here is going to be left behind or, you know, left to deal with their own vices or left to deal with work here because i feel like this person could be at work 
either watching you. If they're not at work watching you, I feel like they are at work dealing with something here. Clarify the Emperor, please, for Capricorn. There's that Lovers there, and then the Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. Sorry guys, someone was at my door. All right, so we have the Lovers here with the Two of Wands, and then we have the Six of Swords clarifying the Emperor. So I'm getting this energy of you guys moving on to calmer waters with someone who is very masculine here. It could be an Aries, Taurus, or Gemini, or an Aquarius here. But I feel like you guys are de definitely taking like the peaceful route or the road less traveled is what I'm hearing. Because who you're choosing here is definitely um, someone peaceful. Like someone that you're supposed to be with or someone is choosing you, right? Clarify the Two of Cups, please. Why is the Two of Cups here for Capricorn? Yeah, so we have the Fool here, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Someone is worried that you're going to leave them because they're going to be juggling by themselves here. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Fool to the Two of Cups. So I feel like someone is going to be leaving someone here, and they're going to be leaving someone juggling. Now, I'm also getting something, yeah, Six of Wands here. It's like you're gaining victory over this, and I feel like... This person comes off pretty codependent. I'm not talking about the person that you're being with. I feel like whoever is getting left is either codependent or they're penny pension. They got to save their money. They got to bounce up their money. And it's like, it's stressing them out here. Clarify this two of pentacles, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, the three of pentacles. It's like they need someone to work with here. Maybe they're working with another person. Okay, yeah, we have the King of Wands here. That's that player energy. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Someone here is like, they really want you bad, but I feel like there's a lot of money involved too. So it's like they're trying to like be ambitious about coming towards you, but at the same time, they're like, I need this person because I need the money or I need this person because I don't want to feel left out in the cold. I need their energy, right? It's like a codependent type of vibe I'm getting, um, but I'm not seeing the devil, so it's not... I'm not seeing it being toxic, but I am seeing it being chaotic, right? Clarify the Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups here, the Hermit, and then we have the Eight of Wands. You don't want to be involved in any third parties here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but I feel like you don't want to be dealing with any third parties. You go to this person... And now it's like, uh, you go to this person fast. I'm getting something like they sent you a message and they got the hint. They got they got the hint about where you're at in life. And you don't want to talk to them. Right? Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, the King of Pentacles here. And the Temperance here. Sagittarius energy, also Earth energy. I feel like whoever... There's this masculine, there's this masculine emperor energy here who's leaving a third party. It's like they're going within about how to become loyal, right? But I, I don't think that's who you're dealing with. I think I think it's the person that you're you're gonna be with, right? Because I do see commitment here. Clarify the hierophant here for Capricorn, someone rising in Venus signs. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're you're sticking to your morals. You're sticking to your guns here because you see something here. You see that you're going to overcome something. And you see uh, a lot of victory, and you see a lot of clarity, too. I feel like this person is stopped in their tracks because of what they probably... They probably tried to offer you something, some sort of expression of love, and you definitely denied them. I feel like you're, you are you see someone else that you want here, Capricorn. Or this is, you know, this is the story coming from your person's perspective where, you know, they see someone that they want, and that's you. So they're going to come towards you. All right, so let's see. Let's get some... Yeah, you, you, you mean business here with the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. And you're also holding on to your money. I feel like you know that this person... Um, wants to deal with you for financial reasons only. So you're being stern with them here, all right? Give me three cards. I feel like you see someone that you, that you want more. Right? Or whoever here is with the money, whoever has the money here, they, they know who they want to commit to, okay? 
Yeah, we have coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. I feel like there's someone in your energy that you enjoy. You just enjoy their energy. And that's why you're so happy right now. Let me get two more for Capricorn. Get two more for Capricorn. Okay. So we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. And then we also have palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So I feel like this person, um, yeah, the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. So I feel like this person is starting to, you know, reminisce about the past about you, reminiscing about how stable you are, um, how much growth that you've had uh, since they last seen you or since they last talked to you, right? Um, they probably look at your pictures a lot. They want to meet up and converse with you. But I feel like this is like you're heading into a commitment with someone else here. Someone that makes you happy. This other person here is just stuck in the past. Or they're, they they found out that you make them happy. Right? But I feel like this person is dealing with others. Right? And I feel like you just ghosted them. You left them out in the cold. They have none of your energy anymore. Yeah. They have none of your energy anymore, and it's like, it's really hard for them to talk to you right now, especially because of all the great things going on in your life right now. Um, Capricorn. Let's get some energy for Capricorn. Okay. Material harvest. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Whatever you started, it's, it's starting to harvest right now. Yeah, sacrifice, letting things go. But you can't have brand new beautiful flowers go around a bunch of weeds. So you're sacrificing things here. What else for Capricorn? Someone rising. Yeah, solar plexus chakra, divine masculine energy, also creativity. I feel like you guys are in this creative uh, mode right now. Um, you guys are tapping into your solar plexus, which is why I keep seeing this masculine energy pop up in the reading. Um... If you're a feminine, you're tapping into your masculine energy. Yeah, fulfillment of wishes. You're getting your wishes. We also have two nines here. Nines represent independence. And we have 12 and 3. So we have two threes and two nines. So you're definitely manifesting a lot of your wishes here. Um, the nines also mean you're almost done with something. So I feel like you're almost done with something. Yeah, temptation. Don't be tempted to go backwards. Yeah, obstacles and challenges. There's nothing but obstacles and challenges in the past. Um, yeah, mental conflict here. You balance this out and now there's suffering in silence here. And I don't even think that you necessarily did anything, you know, wrong. Or I don't even think that you said anything wrong or had any type of conflict. I feel like all this energy right here is very peaceful. But this person is um, kind of stressing. They're, they worry about you working with other people. They worry about your finances a lot, which is kind of weird. But um, I just feel like this person is just like hooked onto your energy and you're slowly letting them go and peacefully. All right. Thank you, Capricorn. That was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If this did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.